Okay, say we have this two-dimensional vector problem where John walks 30 meters north and then 40 meters west and our question is to determine his final displacement. Remember, when we're talking about displacement in physics, we're talking about John's distance traveled from his initial position to his final position. We're not simply talking about the distance he traveled because that would just be 30 meters plus 40 meters, which is 70 meters. So to begin this problem, we start off by drawing some vectors. The first vector in this problem is 30 meters north. So we draw a vertical vector and we label it 30 meters. I shall put down here. The second vector would be 40 meters west. So I draw another vector and I'll label this one 40 meters. So our problem is to find the addition of these two vectors. So to add these two vectors, you can do it two ways. One is to draw them both to scale and then measure it with a ruler but the other method is to do it algebraically which I will be doing in this video start off with a starting point where we'll call this John's starting point firstly we knew that John walked 30 meters north so we create the vector 30 meters north and we also know that John worked walked 40 meters west so we add 40 meters west to our vector problem so this point over here this is where John should have ended up so this is actually John's final location to find the displacement, we go from the starting position to the final position and, and the length of this of this vector, the white one, is our solution. Remember how I said there was two, two ways to solve this? One was to draw the scale using a ruler and measure this distance, that would be quite accurate, but the more accurate way and faster way would be to do it algebraically. Oh, let's just call this vector c by the way. From Pythagoras we can find c which would be c would equal to 30 squared plus 40 squared and the square root of that. If you work it out c would equal to 50 meters meters that's not enough. It, when we're talking about displacement, we also must find the direction theta. In basic trig, we know that tan theta equals to 40 on 30. And we solve this, theta would equal to 53.1 degrees. But also note we need to have a reference point of where that 53.1 degrees is so we say it is 53.1 degrees west of north this being north and we say this is 53.1 degrees west of north so John's final location is 50 meters and 53.1 degrees west of north from his starting location.